Hey guys, hey YouTube, how's it going? So, in this video I want to share with you how my season went. I played at the 20th map with my alliance, and of course many other players joined us, because you know, from the very beginning it was obvious that we would take the center, despite the fact that we had strong enemies. We just in the first weeks showed great courage and achieved all the goals. We were in the lead by a wide margin by the time. Despite all this, the season was fun anyway. As you can see, I personally fought a lot. And now let's talk about how the season went for me. So before Eden started, when the pools were announced, I immediately set goals for myself, especially when I saw three fucking heroes in the first two pools. Firstly, what I said to myself, I need a fucking tuner. You know, because this here is must have. Especially when we talk about Eden. Because all whenever you you know whenever you get heroes, you try to create a new formation that can counter this mega meta formation with tuner. So the first week I had almost 800 tickets and a max tuner and a max collector and I got three copies of cannon. So I was really happy with this result, because I still have tickets left by the time. So saving some tickets from the first pool, plus getting some extra on the second week, I managed to get two copies of Diver. And now, I am really happy, because I have two meta heroes maxed. So after that I set another goal, is to get skins for these heroes. And actually I forgot to mention I got one for Thunder at the beginning, because I saved uh, some Eden coins from previous season. And yeah, during this season I tested a lot of formations, and after that I have identified three main formations for myself that dominate this season. The first was Thunder, Diver and Cannon, or Honk. I personally prefer to use this formation with Cannon, because with him this formation is universal and can beat almost every formation. The formation with Honk performs better against Nightingale and Ivan NPCs, but can easily lose a battle against formations like Flare, Tech Priestess, Dawn, Unfortunately, a formation with Glow Blade performs much worse. The second APC is no surprise, Tuner, Cyclone, Nightingale or Iron. There is nothing to say much about this formation, everyone knows how it works. And the third one is Flare, Attack Priestess Dawn. We used this formation for a few seasons now and you know how it works, so one damage dealer and two support heroes make this formation tanky. Basically speaking, this formation is able to withstand much damage and at the same time Flare can bring a huge damage back. However, the minus of this formation is that if you face a stronger player, let's say with the Nightingale, you will lose for sure. Also the formation with Thunder, Diver and Cannon or Scorpion easily beats this formation. Plus, to be honest, there are yeah, I think a few more absolute formations that can win against Flare's formation. So this formation is still okay, but not ideal. And the sad fact is that we have more than 50 heroes, but we can only assemble 3 or maximum 4 good APCs at the same time. So with all this understanding, I've changed my setups from this to this or this. And as you can see now, I got these two beautiful skins. So having all these heroes, I started to get equipment for them, buying packs with iron plates. I also continue to work on my technologies. And now guys, I want to show you some reports. And I noticed that defense key actually works even better now with new modern technologies. Unfortunately, there are few reports left.
So like I said, I really like my new setup, because these formations work great against players of my level. Also, actually, I forgot to mention that sometimes I swap the first and the third NPCs if I know that enemy will attack me using Nightingale or Ivan. At the end of the season, I still needed one copy of Cannon, so I just exchanged 6 tickets for one selection ticket to get the last copy for him. I will also try to get Nightingale next season, but that's another story. And time to reconstruct the hero and get some skills, but I'm not going to push match for now, maybe on Thursday or later, who knows. Thanks for watching my video guys, if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button, I hope I'll see you soon and coffee is on me.